Tell Nolan to come take over the rest of my work. I have to go meet my clients. Here. What the fuck? Can't you be more like your sister? Childish. Look, I'm here to take over. <sighs> Alright, what kind of job do I have to do this time? Please don't tell me I have to stay out all night again. Alright, what do I need to do? Ranman soul? What kind of strange species is that? And it says it's 100 years old. Can rats even leave that long? How do I do, Book? I killed it this time, right? <sighs> I know, right? How come you're always so serious? 18 years old. Female soul from Earth. Book, how did this soul end up here? Can I send her back? I know, of course I know it, but I can't just ignore it and turn my back on this, you know? Thank you, Buck. Hey, can you hear me? Who are you? I'm Nolan. Listen, there's no time for explanation. I'm going to release you. Thank you. Stars align, bestow your light. Evil purged by thunder's might. Spirit curbed, Numa surge. By dictum divine, heed this words. Do as I command! Shit. No, 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 no. It shouldn't be like this. I did everything right. Wait, it's because of that seal.
Book. Are you there? I'm sorry, Mr. Rick. Nolan? Yes, sir. I appreciate your kindness. In fact, this is why I chose you to be my successor. Thank you, Mr. Rick. But remember, there is one thing a soul merchant must never break. The promise. As I've told you before, each soul merchant provides different things for their clients. For me, it's a promise. But I made you lose a soul for nothing. Do you really think so? Did I not? The contractor of this soul is not you, and as such, your actions do not represent my will. No matter what you do, this soul will eventually be returned to the grimoire. So everything that happened now was all arranged for me? Ah, yes. It was all arranged. Well done, Aranthea. <sighs> what about that soul? What happens to her now? I've not yet told you the story of her, have I? This girl's father was a gambler and her mother passed when she was very young. The girl's father came to me after he had gambled away all of his fortune, hoping to exchange his daughter's soul for some more gambling money. So you made a deal with him? This is exactly what I wanted to tell you, Nolan. This world is full of injustice, and many people don't even have the right to choose their own fate. The price you must pay for defying the rules are often beyond our imagination. As a soul merchant, I have no power over what the clients wish for. Then you made a deal with him. You don't really think I'm such a jerk, do you? So did you. Listen, lots of rules may seem frustrating, but you always pay more when you break them. Stay true to yourself while following the rules. That's the first lesson I want to teach you. Though I can't break the rules, who says I must take the deal from that man? I took his daughter's bargain instead. She traded her own soul for her father to lose every bed in the future and rot in hell after he dies. <sighs> That's scared to even think about. So what happens to this girl now? There's no way she can go back to her own world, but... We do need a cleaning lady here. She'll be good for this job. Um, this... This is not too appropriate, right? Then, do you want to do the chores? No, 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 no. It's all good. Ghost, 
to be able to help uh, the team by playing one of the characters. Uh, I had a lot of fun reading through the lines. Um, it's a really interesting story, so it's really fun to be kind of in the mentor role, even in the story as well as in the class. It's kind of a fun comparison to being the, the teacher and the teacher in the story as well. Have you ever had a difficult time during the dubbing? Um, just working out, making sure that uh, the audio actually was decent. I have an okay microphone and a pretty good setup, but uh, some of the noise canceling stuff can kind of actually garble up some of the audio. So that was probably the biggest challenge was just making sure it was quiet enough without um, destroying some of the audio takes that I had. Do you think Mr. Rick is doing the right thing? Um, in a way, like deception is not maybe the best thing, but in a way I think it is teaching a good lesson in the story. Um, and is beneficial overall. So while it's not deception with kind of uh, like malicious intent, um, it is deception with, with a lesson behind it <clears throat> and, an, and an opportunity to come clean so the character can learn from that. Will you still be willing to dub the student project next time? Would I do this again? Absolutely. Uh, I've, this isn't the only team I've, I've done a voice for. Um, I definitely had fun doing it for these teams, uh, especially for Mr. Rick here. Um, so I would definitely do it again. <laughs>